Hi, this is Jennifer from SimpleScrapper.com, and this is your weekly pep talk. Okay, so this week I want to change it up a bit and talk a little bit about photography and cameras and all that fun stuff. So I'm kind of getting ready here for a slightly long weekend where we're going out of town to take my daughter to the zoo for the first time. And as I've been kind of making all those preparations, doing extra laundry, getting all of our supplies together for a little bit of a road trip, I've been thinking about, okay, what do I need to do to take great photos on this trip? It's our first time going to the zoo and I wanna focus both on any animals we get to see up close, as well as, and most importantly, you know, the expressions on my daughter's face. So what I did, the first thing I did is I Googled how to take great zoo photos. You know, and I read a couple articles. I didn't do an exhaustive search, but I just started think, giving myself reminders about the types of things that I need to think about when taking photos outside, such as bright sun and the need to get in a little bit closer um, in terms of zoom power than I normally would when I'm just taking photos across a room. And so what I did is I started looking at, okay, now what camera equipment do I want to bring with me? Do I want to bring just my iPhone? Do I want to bring my big camera as well? Do I need any extra lenses? And so my point here is that when you know you're going to take do something a little bit bigger, even if it's just a day trip or just an outing, but you're going to do something a little bit different that you're not normally doing and under conditions you're not normally shooting in. And I'm not normally taking a lot of photos out in bright sun. And so when this types of things happen for you, I want to suggest that it's good to just take 15 minutes to get yourself, you know, focused and centered on what type of equipment you're going to need to bring and any kind of new skills you may need to learn to improve how you're going to take those photos. I know I need to practice a little bit on my bright sun photo photography and which manual settings are best for that. And I also need to know I also know that, for example, that my, I don't normally use my lens hood on this lens, this is my 50 millimeter lens, but my lens hood will help when I'm out in bright sun. So little things like that, and just taking that small amount of time can make a big difference when you get home and you're ready to look at your photos. So that was kind of long-winded, but my point here is that this week, and for the rest of this summer especially, I want you to think about when you're about to go out and take photos in a new situation, especially if you're going on a trip or doing, you know, just a little weekend jaunt, do take that five minutes, 10, 10 minutes or 15 minutes to do that little bit of research and preparation so that you can take the best photos possible. Thanks and have a good week. The Weekly Pep Talk is brought to you by Everyday Storyteller 2 a new idea book with 33 more practical ideas from real-world scrapbookers. Get your copy at everydaystoryteller.com.